guys and welcome! Today I have someone very special with me and it is a guy that I know a lot of you have asked about and now I finally got the time to do a video with him. Guys, please meet my Green Tree Boa Asmodan. Green Tree Boas, they are really really amazing. I absolutely adore their colors. They are so beautiful. They are like a living piece of art. I really really love these guys. Now, we usually don't have Asmodan out and handle on a daily basis, not even on a monthly basis. This is actually the first time since we've got him that I have Asmodan out to handle. And I'm doing it only for this video. Because you see, ML tree boas, they actually do best when just left inside the terrarium. These guys can be easily stressed with handling. Also, when taking them out, you are in the risk of breaking their tail because the tail is very, very long and very slim and a little bit fragile. So unless you are being very careful, you are in the high risk of doing some damage to that one. But these guys in general, they are actually pretty easy going and pretty gentle. As you can see, Asmodan here is not being aggressive. He's actually just out searching, just being all calm as you can see. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look at how calm he is. He's just sniffing around. <laughs> Tree boars here, they are arboreal, which means that unlike the ball python, they don't live on the ground. They actually do prefer to live higher up, which is also why that in his terrarium, the whole bunch <laughs> The whole bottom of the terrarium is actually covered in, in this sphagnum moss thing also to keep the humidity high and he really does prefer to stay on his branches as you can see. Usually during the day he will hang in this S position which is a classical emerald tree boa position to hang in. You will also see that one in the wild too. They will hang like this throughout the entire day and when the night comes they will simply ambush whichever animal is uh, crossing their path. Asma then here also he does prefer to eat at night basically when the night comes and it's dark, we can see him. He's moved from one side of the terrarium to the other where he's just ready in a strike position. And as soon as I open the terrarium, he's just ready. As you can see, he has a fast and perfect strike. When talking about the like the temperatures and humidity, they really do need a high temperature and a high amount of humidity. This guy, in the basking spot, they need something like 32 degrees and the humidity needs to be between 65, 75. So that's quite a high amount, which is also why that beside the sphagnum that we also miss his terrarium at least twice a day once in the morning and once in the night and if I'm home during the day I will give him a quick shower as well and we also every day of course as we do with all the other snake we check to see if he has enough water available. Emerald tree boas they are natural very very slender as you can see with this guy as well which is why that they are very prone to being overfed by owners because they think that they look too skinny but they are actually very very slim in their build you know like like a California king snake versus a ball python where the ball python has this heavy big body. Emerald tree boa really does need to have this slim beautiful look to them. As I talked about before these guys they are pretty pretty easy going and they're not known for being massively aggressive or defensive when you're having them out. They do prefer to stay in the terrarium because they are more easily stressed when out and being handled which is something that you should really consider if you are thinking about maybe having them as a pet. I would not say that it's a perfect beginner snake it's not but it's definitely if you're doing your research and if you really you know are into these guys it is definitely a snake that you could go for you know maybe as your second snake or even as your first snake if you do have some experience from other places they really do require that their temperatures and humidity and all that kind of stuff is on point and they also require to be what can you say mostly left alone they are this living piece of art as I talked about before so they are best off just being left alone but if you're into that I can totally recommend these guys. They're so beautiful and I'm so in love with Asmodan here. I think he's just so perfect. Every time we have people up here in the reptile room, they always, whenever they see Asmodan, they go like, oh, he's so beautiful. And you know, he really, really, really is. In the beginning, I was a little bit scared of Asmodan because I was told that they did have very, very long teeth and that a bite would hurt a lot and I really really thought of him being more aggressive than he really was actually he has my utmost respect I'm not scared of him anymore but he has my biggest respect ever because when you see him strike he's just he's so powerful and he's so quick he's really 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 awesome
that's all for today. If you have any comments or questions or would like to see more of Asmodan, just put it right down in the comment section. I would absolutely love to hear. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And also while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Do remember we have a Facebook group now. If you haven't joined us yet, please come and do. There are so many amazing people in there. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye.